What's up everybody, it's Dan the Bugman here. In the first part of today's video, I'm going to be telling you exactly how much you should pay for pest control service for these four main categories. The four categories I will be discussing are termites, general pest control, mosquitoes, and specialty pests. For these four categories, I'm going to be giving you a range of prices that would be in a range that I would consider fair and strong enough to consider using this company. And the second half of this video is gonna be, as my channel always is, a bunch of cool highlights from my most recent week as a pest control technician in the field, finding all kinds of cool, pest control, infestations, and cool bugs, and this and that, and just my experience dealing with customers. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and start with the price section, and then the second half of the video will be the weekly highlights, as I just discussed. So let's get into it. How much exactly should you pay your hard-earned money to a pest control professional to come to your house to kill your bugs. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out these ranges for you, but if you want a little more detail, I will talk about each in just a little detail format after I give you the prices. So, for termites, the initial service, you're gonna pay anywhere from $600 to $2,000 for an average size house. To extend the warranty for a termite treatment, you're going to pay anywhere from $90 to $300 dollars for the annual termite renewal. I have seen companies charge five, six, seven hundred dollars for the annual termite inspection. I think that's too much. Next, a general pest control service. You're going to look to pay anywhere from $150 to $250 for the initial service. That's to control anything from ants, spiders, crickets, wasps, centipedes, all your normal creepy crawlies. And then most companies will suggest a quarterly service. For the quarterly service, you're going to look for anything from $60 at the very, very lowest, and up to 175 for the quarterly service for an average size house. If it gets more than that, they're probably charging you too much. If it's less than that, they're probably not doing a good job. For mosquitoes, now mosquitoes will vary depending on your area, how long the season is. But if you want a full mosquito coverage, you're gonna be looking to pay anywhere from 80 to $120 per month for each month that the pest control company offers their seasonal mosquito service. For example, my company, we're out of Kentucky, we service mosquitoes from the end of April through the end of September. You're gonna to look to spend about $100 per month. And finally, the specialty pests that I discussed earlier, bed bugs, cockroaches, fleas, wildlife, rodents, rats and mice, anything that is just like a crazy infestation or a very unique pest, I'm not going to tell you a price range. They can vary so differently most companies offer free inspections. They will give you a quote over the phone if you explain what's going on. I would never even quote a job without first talking to the customer and asking them a few questions. So if you have bed bugs, if you have a major like flea infestation, if you have a bunch of rats, if you have squirrels in your attic, if you have cockroaches in your kitchen, that is going to be more pricey than an average service. And they're gonna ask you a few questions. Like how long have they been there? What's the infestation severity? What are the other conditions that may have them have a easier or tougher job doing the treatment? So that could be anywhere from a hundred dollar service to a thousand dollar service, okay? Some bed bug treatments are a thousand, two thousand dollar treatments and some easy mice treatments may be only a hundred dollars or so. So that's the biggest range. I know a lot of people are gonna come here looking for exact numbers on cockroaches but there's no way for me to tell you that without talking to you and seeing, you know, what's going on and how bad it is, okay? See this, but we've already got a large population of red paper wasps, it appears to be. It looks like they're swarming around these cracks, probably getting ready to start the nest. There's also a couple guys over there. It was just raining the past like two days, so they haven't been moving much. That guy's hanging on, just chilling. <laughs> All right guys, so I made a pretty cool discovery. What I was looking at upstairs um, in that termite gallery, there were little antennas, little black antennas sticking their heads out of these holes. And that made me think that, oh, hey, these are termite swarmers because termites are also black. But what I found when I'm breaking open these termite tunnels is actually that guy right there. See those guys? Those are not termites. Those are ants. 
And if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, termites and ants are mortal enemies. It looks like the ants have taken over this termite colony. See how the ants are black? Look at that guy right there sticking his pinchers out trying to bite something. So I'm gonna go ahead and check and see if I can see any other ants or termites in the termite area. Hopefully I find some termites. If not, then it's just a cool video of me finding ants inside of a termite colony. See all these brown things? That's the termite dirt that they use to seal up their holes. See what's going on up here. All right, so there's another area up here, even with this cellar spider. Let's see if we can see. Oh, there are termites, okay. Oh, you guys see that? Fuck you, buddy. Are you guys see that? Those are the termites. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what you are actually witnessing in this video is a sped up version, a time lapse of an adult bed bug feeding on my arm. So this bed bug, we captured it and I actually made a whole video about how this bed bug goes about feeding and I tested a couple different bed bugs and I actually let them feed on my arm and we got a really cool video about it. I will go ahead and make the video pop up above, but I'm gonna quickly talk about one important aspect of bed bugs, and that is the physical shape of bed bugs. As you can see in this video, the bed bugs start very, very flat. So vertically they are flat, but horizontally they are pretty wide compared to their body structure. Think of the shape of a bed bug is like a flattened balloon. So the balloon in the bed bug starts to fill up with blood. When this happens, the bed bug's body expands vertically and that helps it get more space in its body okay. to put more blood. So that's just a really cool aspect about bed bugs that you guys should probably know about. Whatever. If you want to know anything about bed bugs, like I said, check out that video. I've, I've got multiple videos on bed bugs so far, but this is just a sped up version of a bed bug feeding on me. It actually took about seven or eight minutes for this bed bug to go from completely empty to completely full. All right guys, so I have set up some mice bait stations and one fun fact about the mice bait we use, I'll show you what it looks like. So the mice bait we use is blue or that greenish teal color, whatever you want to call it. And the reason it is that color is so we can know if the mice have been feeding on a station just by looking at the mice poop. So if you look down there, you see a bunch of little pellets, okay? Those are all mice droppings. So those one with the greenish color those are the ones that the mice have eaten the bait and then pooped out. And the black ones are the ones that they haven't eaten the bait and they just had the normal digestive uh, poop that came out. So that's why all mice bait is colored. It's a good fact to know. It helps us know if the bait has been working or not. So let's go ahead and dive in a little more detailed with each of these services. The termite treatment, like I said, it's going to be anywhere from $600 to $2,000 for the initial treatment. If they use a bait station treatment, that's gonna be on the lower end. If they use a liquid chemical treatment, that's going to be on the higher end for that average size house. Now keep in mind, if your house is like 5,000 square feet and you live in a urban area, it's gonna be more than $2,000 for a liquid chemical treatment. The important thing to consider for a termite treatment is the warranty. Now the annual warranty, that's where the company will come out and they'll just inspect it once a year to make sure there are no termites. If it's a liquid bait, they won't do a treatment every year. If it's a bait station, they will usually put new active ingredient chemicals in these stations to help make sure that the stations are working properly. But the big thing to consider there is the annual inspection and the warranty that comes with it. The initial termite treatment is still very important, but it's even more important to understand the warranty and contract that you're getting into with this company and make sure you trust them and make sure it's a reasonable price for the annual inspection. Next, your general pest control service. This is my company's most popular service that we offer. And this is to keep away anything like crickets, stink bugs, centipedes, ants, wasps, your general creepy crawlies. That usually includes an inside spray and an outside spray. A lot of companies don't do an inside spray anymore, but they will still come out and do the inside if you ask them to, if you're having specific problems. That service, it's a great service to have. It helps keep your home protected. It helps keep an eye on the place and it helps make sure no infestations arise. And like I said, that's gonna start for the initial service is always gonna be a little more expensive, 150 to 250 for the average size house. And then it will significantly drop if you do a quarterly pest control plan down to that, you know, 75 up to 150 per quarter. Now, if you, again, if you live in an urban area and you have a 5,000 square foot home, 
that could get up to 200, 250, 300 dollars per quarter. But for the average size house in an average community, it should be about 100 dollars for your quarterly pest control service per quarter. Next, the mosquito service. Um, it's a very popular service as well. It really just depends on your surroundings. If your surrounding community is naturally very moist, you're gonna have a lot of puddles for mosquitoes to breed in, and that's gonna cause the population to jump in the summer. And you may want to consider having a mosquito service. Now this service, it's not a 100% guarantee that mosquitoes are not gonna come in your yard, but it is going to help drastically decrease the number of mosquitoes that are coming in. You can expect to pay about $100 for the average size yard per month that you want mosquito coverage. Now, my company, we charge every three weeks $60, and that comes out to like $90 per month for my area. If you have a really large yard and you live in an urban area, they may charge up to $150 per month to, to spray or treat for mosquitoes. And finally, like I mentioned earlier, the bed bugs, the cockroaches, the fleas, the wildlife, the rats and mice, I will not dare give you guys a price. Just shop around. These services are very important to make sure you have a good company that offers a warranty for the service and they offer a really good product and a really good service and good customer service and you just want to make sure you trust them and make sure they have good technicians and a good setup and a good treatment plan. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope this helped you understand how we price a pest control service. My company, we actually have our prices published on our website. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. Um, there's factors to consider, many factors to consider when a pest control company prices a residential service. We consider the size of the home, we consider what pests we're covering, we consider the infestation severity, and we consider the distance that we have to drive from our home base and a few other things like that. So please smash the like button if this video helped you. I really hope it helped you make an informed decision when you're trying to call all these companies. I know just from experience, I know a lot of pest control companies are getting very aggressive with their marketing. They're getting aggressive with their door-to-door -door sales and we don't do that. We just let our services speak for us. So try to find a company that has a good reputation and not some, not some sleazy company that just wants to take your money. There are those out there. As far as local versus national companies go, there are good national companies, there are good local companies, there are good regional companies, and there are bad national, regional, and local companies as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys soon.